you were looking at this exercise last time. Um, remember, level one was just collecting light terms. It seems a while ago now. Um, let me just ask you, um, someone tell me, what's the answer to that one? Which one? Uh, one that I've just selected with a yellow box. So 6j minus 7. Would anyone like to agree or disagree? Disagree. Well done, Mackenzie. Oh, wait, it doesn't work 7. Why? Yeah. Check. Yes. Be very careful, yeah? I gave you that one specifically because if you're subtracting a negative, it's the same as adding. And I did say to you that is what will people will make a mistake there. Okay, so well done. Got that one right. So then the next level, all right, let's, uh, we've got two sets of brackets, but it's not, it wasn't much different, was it? Lars, would you like to do that one? Six Bs plus two. Let's just check. Yeah, well done. Um, this one. Brooklyn? Um, seven H. Seven H. Plus two. You think plus two? Uh -oh. yeah. Disagree. So you think it's minus two? Anyone disagree? Anyone agree? Agree. 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 Okay. Agree. Well, that's a shame. Oh. 6H. 7H minus 6. 7H minus 6. Right, let's be very careful. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be very careful, guys, we listen, let's be very careful that we don't get into this, now I'm just going to start guessing, okay? So, for instance, we're not going to say negative 7H just because we're guessing that the 7H is wrong. 18H minus 11H is definitely 7H. I, I would argue that that's going to be right, yeah? There's no argument to have it as minus 7H, none at all. So we're thinking subtract six. Why do you think it would be plus six? Yeah. 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 So, so you're at positive two and you're subtracting a negative, which means you're adding four. Now, what the people that said negative six, what you did was you went two negatives. Positive negative makes a negative. You, fell into that trap that I've warned you about from the start. It is, you take it step by step, and it is actually, okay? All right. So that's an important learning curve for you that. So let's just check that we've all got this, okay? Charlie, do you want to go? Four J's. Did you say that because you heard other people whispering it? So a negative and a negative is a positive, so it must be negative 16. That doesn't quite fit. What? 
No, it's a negative. It's negative and another negative, so that would equal um, mm -hmm. a negative. If it's negative, it's okay. It's forty-five yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, well, maybe if it's wrong, I'm going to What do you think? Six Put your hand up if you think positive. No? You don't think positive six No? Yeah. You do? What's your reasoning, back? Well, if you minus a negative, you'd be adding it, like Mackenzie said earlier. Yeah. So, since 14 minus negative Sorry, what? Four, 14 minus negative. Sorry. Negative. Negative. negative I mean, oh, never mind. So, wait. So, it's if negative you negative 14, it's no, no, negative 2 equals positive 60. Oh, no. Sorry, negative 4. Negative 4. Okay, negative 4. Negative. We did this in the past because we were like, three negatives don't equal positive, but three negatives don't equal positive. So there's three left over. Oh, okay. What you're confusing, Sky, she made a couple of people with Slaris and Sky, um, Mackenzie have made two very important things, but what Mackenzie has just slipped into is the comparing the multiplication stuff with the addition. What I will take you back to is what you were correctly saying, which is you're at negative 14. You're dealing with 2. I'm all the way down here at negative 14. How is adding or subtracting 2 going to make you get all the way to positive 16? It's not, right? Positive 16 is not a reasonable answer. So really, it's negative 14, you're either, you've already all said to me, it's negative 14, not 14. It's negative 14. We're either going to end up at negative 12, or we're going to end up at negative 16. And that's what you did, wasn't it? No, it's yeah. Well, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, this is an important point. You did slip there because there's been a few lessons. You did slip into the two negatives make positive thing, and you just went, you looked at it and went fourteen positive two must be positive, so it must be sixteen, must be positive sixteen, and then you went, oh, positive sixteen is wrong, so it must be negative sixteen. You didn't think about what's happening in terms of our. Or air balloon, or our Gotham City, whatever you know, and but you, it is there. It's in the back of your mind. And say, but I'm at negative fourteen. All right, I'm not going to get out of negative with a two. It was there. It was in the back of your mind. You just got to stop and think very carefully and properly. All right, um, but that those are the common mistakes. Everyone does it. Right, it doesn't matter which group I give it to, top group, middle group, bottom group, everyone will make those same mistakes. Right, so let's just check then. Dash. Yeah. No, do a jig on the table. Yes. It's six. It's six. It's six. What's six? Sounds like someone hasn't been doing their catch up. Don't. Six K plus eighty. What do you think of that? Six K plus six. Again, remember, the way it is, you're at positive 12, you are subtracting positive 6. Again, when you are adding and subtracting, don't fall into this trap of take the two numbers and add them. You have to think carefully. This is why this is the, the next level up. 
Right, then we did that and people were like, that's hard, but level three was super easy. Ah, right. So this is the one I think you're all going, yeah, no, level three is like, why is that easier than level two? It's, it's another thing rather than a harder thing. All right. Who would like to tell me what the answer to this one is? It's um sixty wait sixty three minus yeah, sixty three H minus um five tables this way. Yeah. Uh, six, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this was one when we made some notes. We made some notes and multiplying out these brackets, we added it into the fireworks method. And then just kind of fireworks. But it's actually a distributive process. Yeah. You are distributing the seven. Right? Do you remember what the common mistake was? number times whatever is on the thing. It's like you add the normal ones together. Yeah. Oh, that, that, but that is a mistake, yeah. Sure. The common mistake was multiplying the first one and then just multiplying all three. It's both. You have to do both. Because remember, I explained to you, in, I think, um, if we did it earlier in the notes, four lots of A plus six is four lots of A and four lots of six. So you have four lots of everything, okay? So four lots of A, four lots of six makes four lots of A plus 24. Okay, so just the extension onto level four then. Let's just check before I give you some more practice time. Let's do these. So we've got negative 8 multiplied by 5e plus 8. Yeah. Expand the brackets for me. Negative 40. Yeah. Oops. Negative. 60 plus negative 64. Okay, however, there's always that however with negative. We never, you won't get a correct tick for saying plus negative 64. We actually have to write negative 40 is fine, but if you add a negative, we know it's the same as subtracting 64. Yeah? So I will not, Skylar, so if you're not writing this down and you do it in your test, I won't accept it. I'm not going to accept adding negative because the whole point of this is called simplification. We are simplifying things. And this can be written simpler like this. So you can put, I will not accept plus negative you ready for that i will not accept the plus minus thing okay um you need to simplify that so plus minus actually is just minus yeah subtraction Get. What about the next one? So negative 8 multiplied by 2f's subtract 6. Negative 16f. No. Plus. Plus.
8 times 6. So negative 8 times 2 is definitely the negative 16. And negative 8 times negative 6 is positive. 8 times 6 is? Uh, 36. 36? Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, how are we feeling about that? So the distributive thing, I think everyone's kind of got the distributive thing right. As Mackenzie very clearly, like very succinctly makes the point, I think the problem is not with the distributive algebra method, it's your times tables. Yeah, but you've got your grids in your planners you can use. Now you have two options now. All right. I am, for those of you that need a bit of practice, okay, you can, and don't go quite there, don't jump straight to it, you can work on this transom task, which is on Thursday's team, and we get as far as level four, look. Level five, you can actually go on to level five as well, be interesting, or, Something that is, should we talk about one of these? Yeah. 3a times 2a plus 4. All right, let's have one in our examples. So this time, 3a's plus 2 times 2a's plus 4. Right, let's see what we get. So 3a's times 2a's, what do we think? 6a times it's 6a squared, is how we say it. Because it's 3 times 2 times a times a. The a times the a is written as a squared. And then 3a times plus 4 is positive 12a. So that's actually level 5. So you have a choice now. You can work up to level five on transom. However, I know some of you are going to be like, actually, if there's an assessment coming up on this, I need to focus on what's going to be really in the assessment. So in your textbook, um, we haven't decided yet. In your next textbook, practice three on page 152, you will see, you know, you see the basic ones we've been doing? Same kind of stuff. There's less of them. It's exactly the same things. They do extend. Yeah. Hard. Now, without the comments, like I said, hopefully you can combine the two. So if you do the transom because you want practice of the simpler base ones, absolutely fine. You can practice on that. But your target, as you can see, the level for our MYP algebra requirement is to be able to do that. That. That? Yeah. All of them. Obviously, these are the basic ones, getting up to the harder ones. Yes, you can. Everything you've just been doing and telling me you can do, you can do all of those if you take it step by step and think about it and think, ah, oh, there's a negative in the middle, what do I do? Again, I will reiterate, feel free to do a bit of time on the transoms up to level five with some practice, but you do need, if you want a good score in your assessment for this MYP unit, because transom's not MYP, you've got to hopefully get to this stage, utilising the skills that transom is giving you. Okay, so you've got a choice where to start now. Bit of voting today. Okay, over to you.